So the big question for us, the Australian audience is the timing of treatments. You, and the easiest place to control, call, control, control Varroa are very cold locations, um, like Canada and the northern parts of Europe. And the reason why is during the winter, it's so cold the colonies don't have any brood. And in the spring, um, colony, the bees can expand faster than the Varroa, so they find when the colonies come out of this really cold conditions into the northern hemisphere spring, um, there's not that many Varroa in the, in the colonies because they've been dying through the winter and they don't have to treat in the spring, so they just do an autumn treatment just before the colonies go back into the snow again. So for those really cold countries, it's really easy, one treatment a year in the autumn. For temperate locations in New Zealand, and some pieces of Australia, where you have a distinct, distinct spring and autumn and a short honey flow in between, then that makes treatment not as easy as really cold conditions, but not too bad. So just a single string treatment of eight weeks and an autumn treatment of eight weeks works well. The problem for Australia is where you've got a very long honey flow and timing treatments there, we just really don't know actually. Some of the temperate parts of Australia are okay, but for these more tropical kind of climates and for nectar flows, our best guess is this, this calendar treatments that the rest of the world uses, we're gonna to have to think of a different method. Um, and we've talked about it as these integrated control programs, which is using a whole lot of methods together to keep control rather than these calendar treatments. So temp cold countries, one treatment, temperate countries, two treatment, Australia, tropical countries, places, probably treating a number of times during the honey flow to keep them under control.